Welcome to Chuck Choose. Today, we're gonna try something a little different. We're gonna do 101 things to do with a cake mix. We're gonna do a recipe out of here. We're going to do the, I can't, it's right in the middle of the book and it won't fold over. We're gonna do the pineapple cherry dump cake. This calls for a yellow cake mix. Got it. A half to a full stick of butter thinly sliced. I got a, it's right here out of camera view. Um, I got a stick here, but I've only chopped up half of it. Uh, one can of crushed pineapple with the juice. And there it is with the lid already off. One can of cherry pie filling, 20 ounces each on both of those, 20 21. Uh, I'll put the recipe in the directions below or in the description below. You can tell it's early in the morning. I'm filming this, well, fairly early. Um, got the ovens already preheated to 350. I've had some filming issues here, so I've had to redo this several times and and the oven's already been up to temp. Uh, grease a nine by 13 pan. I sprayed it with some good old Baker's Joy. Not promoted, not, not getting plugged there. Um, Dump half the cake mix in, spread evenly. Dump the pineapple with juice over the cake mix and spread evenly. Spread the pie filling over the pineapple and dump the rest of the cake mix evenly over the top and put the butter slices over the top of that. Bake for 48 to 53 minutes. I'll probably go 50 right in the middle. And then there's some serving suggestions afterwards with serve warm with vanilla ice cream or chilled with kill whip. Whip. As Stewie would say. All right. Now, let's see if we can figure out how to get half of this. Does that look like about half? It does to me. Oh, great. That all seemed to have. That is not going as planned. I'm gonna bust up these big clumps that are in here. I have only made a couple of dump cakes in my life, and I've had very, very mixed success with them. Most of the times they were fails. <laughs> um, let's see. Put that in. Do the pineapple first. All right. Like I said, I've never made this one, so if it comes out horribly bad, you're going to find out right along with me. That look pretty spread out to you. Looks look good to you. Looks good to me. All right. I'm going to uh, I guess I can just use this. I had two spatulas, but I'm just going to use the one. There is a big chunk that pineapple rind in there. I'm gonna fish that out. All right, now let's do the cherry pie filling. Sorry, not very talkative. Not much to talk about while doing this. Spread this out. Boy, it seems like you get, seems like you get more pineapple out of a, out of a 20 ounce can than you do a 21 ounce can of cherry pie filling. All right, there's that. Oh, my dryer's done. Woohoo! All right, 
Now it says spread the rest of this over the top. Yeah, well. Spread it all out, it says. And it says, oh, I've had so many filming issues here that the pats of little butter have already started to melt. separate all right now you just put it in the oven for about i'm gonna put it in for about 50 minutes see what we got only you, you really can't see the front of my oven here but there we go timer Ooh, not that much time Thing just zinged by the 50 minute mark. All right, see you back in about an hour when this thing is done and out and cooling. It's been about an hour now. Just taking it out of the oven. And this is the problem I've always had with dump cakes. There's just certain parts of it where the cake mix doesn't get mixed in well and doesn't soak in and Thus you end up with uncooked cake mix on top of your cake. That's the reason I hate dump cakes. I've never had success with them. I always seem to end up coming out looking like this, but I'm gonna let it cool for a bit and then I'll probably end up scooping some out either around in here or here <laughs> and uh, trying it. So we'll be back when that happens. Well, this cake has had about 20 minutes to cool or so. Let's try. <laughs> I really don't know where to dig into this thing yet. I'm going to have to go right in the middle. Well, this corner over here looks fairly cooked. Let's try it. Well, I see something I don't like. I know these handles are probably still hot, so I'm putting the, I didn't check this earlier, but I didn't look at the bottom. Uh, yeah, it don't look done on the bottom. Maybe I need to throw this back in for a little more. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, can't tell whether it's dough or just pineapple. A little bit of mold, both. Well, I think I'm going to throw this back in. Let it go a little longer. But it's still really hot. Yeah, this is really doughy on the bottom. Hmm. Well, we're going to give this another round. I'm going to try to get a Try and get a piece of the crust up here on top. Yeah. I'm going to put this back in. And let it go for a little longer. And we're back. Let's see. I can't remember where I left off of this thing at. I baked it for probably 50 minutes looked okay i took it out let it cool for a while tried that little corner there and it was still kind of doughy on the bottom then i lifted it up looked at the bottom and it, it didn't look good on the bottom uh had a lot of undone little areas around the outside 
so I turned the oven back on and I took a little tablespoon and I put some water over some of the spots that didn't look like it was done, get some moisture on it. And I put it back in, I put it in for 10 minutes. It still didn't look good. I put it in for another five and another five and I put it in for another 10. I, I, I think I'm up to close to an hour and a half now on baking this and it's starting to get a little dark around the edges in a few spots. So I didn't want to go any longer and, and uh, start burning things, but it did uh, spots. I put water did look like it, it did bake it up. Yep. That's baked. So that worked. I just couldn't get it everywhere. But I wish I had a little spray bottle. I could have just sprayed the whole top of the thing and it would have done it. But, uh, I don't know. I'll give this a eh on the success rate. It tasted the chunk I did cut out and ate did taste good. So if you try it, let me know what you think and how it comes out for you.